All right, hello everyone. Uh, this is Ronnie, Ronnie Sandlin over here. Can we see the video? Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see video or not, but if you can, this is my office, and this is my colorful shirt, and this is my friend Ben, who I've actually known since what, second grade? Second grade. Second grade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just, he's gonna sh watch over my shoulder how I set up a campaign that makes me money every single day. And um, I just want it to be like, you're sitting here with me. So basically the first thing I wanted just to tell you is that if you want freedom, if you wanna make a lot of money, and you want the ability to work anywhere that you that you have a laptop and an internet connection, then the best way, in my opinion, to do that is internet marketing. Now, right now, my business, I mean, me, me personally, I make anywhere between twenty to thirty thousand dollars per month in profit, and that's just me working basically out of my apartment. I do have an office, but I'm like never here, it's just for like show, basically. But I basically, for all intents and purposes, work out of my apartment or basically wherever is an internet connection. And I make great money. Um, I, I know a lot of you guys watching this video, you guys either know me, have met me at like Affiliate Summit, have you know met me just wherever, have partied with me, or just have generally just seen my posts on like internet marketing, super friends or other groups. So you know that I'm the real deal. You know, I'm not a pretender. I'm not some guy, you know, faking the funk here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk you through real quick, just like samurai style, exactly how I make that money. Literally just, like I said, just working from home and having all the freedom in the world to kind of do the stuff that I want to do, which includes my passions, you know? So, okay, so without further ado, here it is. So, advertorial. If you haven't heard that term, um, you're going to and if you, it, it, and you need to, okay? So, advertorial or native advertising is the future of marketing, okay? So, basically, uh, man, I want to... Let me go over to Facebook. I mean, almost any time I go over to Facebook, I'm going to see somebody with some crazy squeeze page is what we call. Okay, so here's one. So here's a competitor. I'm actually in this space. All right, so here's funny. Oh, this guy is this guy is copying me. This guy's ripping me off. Look at this. Straight up blatantly ripping me off. Oh my god. Okay, so here here we go. Goodbye loans. So here's a competitor of mine. Here's what they're doing. Oh, they're doing an advertorial too. Okay, some more people are catching on. That's a shitty advertorial. But I'm going to still hold on to it. Okay. Okay, so here's what you typically see when you click on a marketing campaign, right? You, you go to an ad and then it goes to some like trial offer with like, here, put your name in and put in arrows and fucking videos that like autoplay and sounds that come out of nowhere and it's just fucking ridiculous. And this has been like the modus operandi of like the marketing community. You listen to most of the gurus, I'm not gonna name names, but you know, they'll say, you gotta do a landing page, you gotta use Optimizely or Press or whatever, no, Optimizely you should use, but landing pages, it's gotta be, it's gotta have arrows on it and it's gotta blink really Really, it's got to no, know you don't want to do any of that because let's face it nobody likes advertising you ask anybody um, do they click on ads everybody does says that they don't click on it. obviously it's bullshit but you ask anybody like oh I don't ever click on those ads well it's true you know people don't like ads and if you make your advertisements if you make your campaigns look like an ad okay you're you're gonna fail miserably because the fact of the matter is, it's not the good old days of advertising. Advertising is extremely expensive, okay? So it's not like the days of one cent, two cent clicks. However, I'm gonna show you how you can accomplish that. Um, you know, landing pages, so the point I'm trying to make is, you wanna get away from this type of landing page, squeeze page, you know, arrows, one, two, three type stuff. Now, it's not to say that there isn't a place for that because there completely is a place for landing pages. But what you want to do is you want to send them to a pre-sale first or an advertorial, okay? And there's several reasons why you want to do that. Number one, okay, so this is one of my businesses. I, I'm into business loans, okay? So I'm going to give you some of my sacrificial lambs. A, please don't copy me, but if you do, I'm giving you the ones that don't work as well. Um, so whatever. Okay, so uh, here is an advertorial. It's a, basically a blog post, right? So I'll show you. Here's my site, VentureInsiderReport.com is one of my sites. All right, 
And if you go to it, it looks like, you know, a, a blog, some type of like informative blog where, you know, business people go to, you know, right here. If you notice, this is my banner ad. I click on it. It goes to my it goes to my one of my businesses. Right. OK, so. What I do is I write an advertorial uh, a blog post. I set up a whole website. So this whole website was set up just to generate business loan leads. Okay, so that's kind of counterintuitive, right? To set up a website that isn't a business loan website to get business loan leads. Okay, so when they click on it, the, the what you really want to do is have a great headline. So weird business loan loophole helps business owners get cash to grow their business. Okay, now in this, in doing this method, copywriting is absolutely essential. So copywriting is the ability to turn your words and your written words into money. Okay, so if you want to get really good at copywriting, uh, there's a lot of courses. I would definitely go check out anything Craig Clemens is doing, anything Evan Pagan is doing. Um, I personally, uh, the, the one article that I think that like if you just read this one article, um, you would you you'll make a lot of money. You it's like it's better than reading a book. Seriously, it has so much information. This one article you can just Google it. It's called David Frey F R E Y. Uh, David Frey's Killer Sales Letter. So there's like seven steps to a killer sale, something to that effect. But just look up Killer Sales Letter David Frey, and that should pop up for foolproof kill foolproof killer sales page david frey anyway if you just follow that formula you will do quite well um you'll do quite well so with an advertorial it's really really important that you understand your audience they understand who you're marketing to but most importantly that you understand their pain points okay and what they're trying to accomplish so uh, in any business that i'm getting in i want to make sure that there's very very clear pain points so one of my businesses that I'm in is student debt relief, right? So with student debt relief, obviously people are in tons of debt, so they need they need relief. They need to get their loans consolidated or in some cases even forgiven, right? So, you know, I really try to stay in businesses that have that type of pain point because you're going to have a lot more effectiveness in your marketing. Okay, so with business loans, it's typically these are people, it's like it's kind of like a cash advance uh, for businesses. What is a cash advance for businesses? Merchant cash advance. And so these businesses, a lot of times, maybe they, they, they can't make payroll, right? They're not going to, their checks are going to bounce for their employees if they don't get, you know, money and the banks aren't lending. And so this is a good business to be in because of that pain point, right? So I really want to hit those pain points hard on my advertorial. So like you notice this is quote, I'm afraid I may lose my business and everything I've worked so hard to achieve. So I'm actually laying it on pretty strong. Right. So the reason is, you know, we have a very, very short attention span. Right. So you really want to make sure every paragraph sells the next paragraph. OK, so we live in a snack culture. OK, so, you know, they're one click away from just going and visiting another website. So you want to make sure that what they're reading is not only what they consider valuable, but that they feel compelled to keep reading. And the way you get people compelled is not only by hitting their pain points, but by offering a solution to those pain points by saying, hey, I understand you. I understand what you're going through. I myself have gone through a similar situation, but here is how I found the solution. And luckily, you've come across this article and here it is. Click here. So that's basically the formula in a nutshell. You have a problem. I've been through the same problem. Luckily, I found a solution. I think this can work for you. Call this number. Very simple. Okay. So, all right. So, what I'm going to do, I actually have another website that I'm going to use. I have a bunch of these. It's basically duplicates. Oh, shit. Forgot. I'm going to have to pause this. So I'm back. Uh, I realized I hadn't created a Facebook page. So uh, anyway, here's the uh, Facebook page uh, I created. So real quick, just to touch upon it, I don't want to like spend too much time, but like I just made a logo real quick. It was super simple. Uh, <laughs> it just created it in Photoshop. It just says VI. And uh, yeah, it looks good. It looks like a legit company. And then I just found some photo on Google of like <laughs> some like uh, 
It looks legit. It looks like some company, right? So they look at it. They're like, oh, yeah, Adventure Insider Club. This is media news and publishing. Yeah, good job, guys. So, all right. So here we are. Uh, and now I'm going to post my advertorial, right? That's what we've been talking about this whole time. And here it is. Venture Insider Club and I just go like that right right so on an ad here are a few different elements when you're posting on Facebook that you want to pay attention to uh, I'm just gonna sit down all right so headline weird business loan loophole helps business owner get cash to grow their business right so it, it's, it's interesting People like loopholes, people like exploits, people like hacks, people like to cheat. So anytime like it implies that somebody's gonna get something from nothing, it's a good headline. Because honestly, people are really, really lazy. Okay, so the next thing is the, the image. So you notice the image, women convert well, she's curious, she's looking up. <coughs> I need to test this. So I'm just gonna assume my first ad that I put up isn't gonna work. All right, because I need to test this. I don't know, but it looks compelling, right? I look at it. She's cute. You know, it's interesting. It's loopholes. She looks like she's just had a good idea. And then the subhead right here, the kind of summary. Um, many business owners. Hmm. So I got to write something interesting. We're business. Many business owners. Oh, here's a good one. Why some business owners can get loans while others struggle, right? So that's emotional. Struggle is an emotional word. So I like to use words that really emphasize like those pain points. So struggle okay wait a second yeah like struggle you know all that type of stuff all right so and then the post right so you want to look at sites like mashable or venture insider or there's a bunch of them there's a bunch of them i mean there's like um hype beat not hype beast how would i say hype beast um Daily Beast. So you just want to look at like sites and how they publish it and just kind of like copy it. So you don't want it to look promotional. So if you notice in my ad, there's nothing that says get a business loan, you know, business loans today, you know, nothing like that. It's but it, it's very subtle. So I'll say something like, um, we were surprised at how easy it is, <laughs> right? So simple. Boom, publish it. All right. So I have a business manager account and I highly recommend that you get um, a business manager account as well. Oh yes, so this is Cindy. She's uh, my advertising account. All right, long pauses, perfect. Uh, what, I, what I'm trying to do here is, if you have a business manager account, which I highly recommend you apply for one, um, is you gotta claim the page, so I just haven't done that yet. Uh, there it is. So I'm just gonna request access, admin. I'm already, I created it, so boom. I pull it into my business manager account. Now you don't need to, you can just do everything in ad manager, but if you want to scale up and get serious about it, you're going to want a business manager account. But you know, if you want to get into more advanced stuff, you know, reach out to me and I can, I can go over some more advanced stuff with you. Okay. So now that I've claimed it, I'm going to advertise in one of my accounts. I got tons of accounts. Best practice says that I should be putting and creating an account for every campaign, but since I'm just, this isn't a real 
thing I'm posting up. I'm just going to put in whatever account. All right, so... Okay, so we just posted the post on our Facebook page and uh, we're gonna create the ad. So we came over here to Ad Manager, right? We're gonna boost post. I'm just gonna put the URL, Venture Insider Club, of the Facebook page. Sometimes it takes a minute for the Facebook page to pull through to Business Manager. So you just create, you just take the link of your Facebook page, copy the link, and that's what you'll you'll use to connect to your Facebook account. Uh, anyway, so here it is. Weird business loan loophole helps business owners get cash to grow their business. Hit continue. Right. So here's where all the magic happens. Right. So what I'm going to do is just target one interest. One interest per camp per um per target now I, I used to do this where i'd be like okay people that are interested in business i want people that are interested in this and i would just compile a list and that's what you don't want to do you want to just do one at a time because because you want to be able to separate what works and what doesn't if you just clump everything together then it's in, impossible to tell what's actually working and what's not working and so you want to you want to be able to test and, and separate everything um as much as you can Okay, so I'm gonna do real broad on this. I wanna say people that are interested in business, I want them to be 30 plus, All right? So that's lots, a lot of people. But I'm just gonna keep it broad. Now that's counterintuitive, isn't it? Because most people will, will wanna do something very narrow I actually try to go as broad as possible um, because what I found with Facebook, the broader that you go, the cheaper to the cheaper the clicks. So um, the more that you, the more targeting that you have, the more you're going to pay for that targeting, which makes sense, right? Because it's kind of a premium feature. You think about it, you're paying for how good Facebook's targeting is. But I try not to do too much targeting, um, and I found it's very very effective. And it, it, that's actually an aha moment that I had in my marketing that really, really supercharged what I, I was doing because I realized, man, not only is it important to go broad, uh oh, but it's it's beneficial if you have something that converts as broad as possible. Okay, so five bucks. I'm um, thirty to sixty-five. We're gonna come down here. And we want to remove the desktop right column. So that's that's the ads that show up on the right. Why do we want to remove that? Because people know that's an ad, right? People are going to look at that and they're going to look at it and say, well, that's an ad. I'm not going to click on that. So it, it ruins the illusion, right? So we want to remove that. But we want to keep the mobile and, and desktop. Now, if you're really not ninja, you'll separate desktop from mobile. But I'm not there yet. Okay, so my last video kind of cut out, but basically just hit the place order button. If you need to rewind a second, just go ahead and click the place order. Um, so luckily, because the video cut out, we can look on the bright side here, and here we have the ad that I just uh, placed the order on has actually gotten a little bit of engagement here. So let me refresh so I get a little bit fresher data. Okay, so I mean, I spent 22 cents. Uh, reached 39 people. So 22 cents per engagement, which is actually pretty high. Mm -hmm. But let's take a look at the click-through rate here. Mm -hmm. This is the new... Okay, so 2 point... This is the, <laughs> this is the new platform so I'm still getting used to this um, so it's not where it needs to be so I'm just gonna keep testing that right so I'm gonna keep testing it preferably what I would want is a click-through rate of about seven to eight percent eight percent ten ten to twelve percent I'm rock star I'm killing it right so that's basically it I'm not here let me show you 
another one. Actually, this is one that I'm right at the end of finishing, so I don't mind showing you. It's like the last day I'm running it. I'm going to preview it. I just want to show you something just to, just to prove a point. Okay, well, let's do it on, let's do it on this one. So, uh, if you look at organic and paid, fifty percent of my reach is organic, right? So fifty percent of my reach is coming from free. I'm not paying for it. So that's how I'm able to get really, really cheap Facebook traffic. And the thing is, you're not going to be able to do that um, if you're just sending them to a landing page. Because nobody's going to share your landing page, right, or your squeeze page. But people will share an article, right? So that's why I have my all of my, all of my stuff, all of my ads look like an article. Right, do you notice that? So people are going to share it. Because people will share things that A, make them look good, B, they think is of value, and three, help define them as a person. So, you know, so if there's a business owner, it, it, they're going to see this as value. It's because, you know, it's Venture Insider Club, and I, I use club intentionally a lot. I use the dot, oh, Ninja Hint, the dot club domains, they work awesome. And they're really cheap, and almost any name is available. So anything you want, dot club is available. So you're welcome. Try that out; it works. Okay. So basically, you know, they see the website, they think, you know, hey, this website, you know, understands me. I'm a business guy. You know, it understand, you know, Venture Insider Club, and so they're going to share the article with their friends, and so that gives me free reach because more than likely their friends are probably business owners as well. So it just extends my reach. You know, or whatever the case, because birds of a feather flock together. Now, actually, I do this um, in several different verticals, um, not just not just business loans. I do the same strategy in um, student debt relief. Here's a business that I make, you know, six hundred to a thousand dollars a day profit on. I mean, my best day I made was. Thirty-eight hundred dollars in profit. Okay, and that's vast. My very, very little spend. I think I spent like that day three, four hundred bucks in advertising to make thirty-eight hundred dollars in profit. Like, right. So I'm using that same. So if you notice, it's the same. I use the same blog, man. You know, it's not even like, it's not even changed. So it's real. It's not rocket science. This stuff is not rocket science. Um, it's simple. I, I've created it into a formula that I've been able to replicate across several different verticals and make it work. So what that shows me is that it, it's it's not just one vertical specific. This is a formula that I can repeat over and over and over again. And most importantly, it, it's original. It's in, it's unique so far. Um, the thing is, people, this is a new type of advertising that, I mean, advertorials have been around forever. This is not a new thing. Look it up. It's been around since the beginning of adver advertising. But online, it is, it's, for some reason, it's very unique still. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, let me rephrase. It's not, it's, it's not unique. It's just most people aren't talking about it. I'm not seeing a lot of people talking about it. I just want to say, hey, look, advertorials, that's the way to go. Um, and it's very, it's very good because with the general public, uh, that has seen all they we, you know we're bombarded with so many ad messages per day this is it's very good at staying under the radar right because that's really the name of the game especially on social media you know ads are not the name of the game you really don't want to be an ad you know you want to be a content you want to frame yourself as a content okay so um also i wanted to go over some more stuff uh that that well, shoot, there's just so much stuff to go over that I, I mean, I could, I could go over, you know, I could take a whole day here going over different concepts, but, um, you know, this is, it's pretty straightforward. Do an advertorial, look up native ads, you know, do your research, don't just believe me, but uh, what you should do is you should contact me. 
because um, I'm able to set up these systems and under a day I have a whole team of people that work with me for my graphic designer, for my web designer, for me I'm a copywriter. And what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up um, just a few people I wanna work with. I'm not sure, I'm just starting this out. So this is not something I'm 100% sure that I wanna continue doing. So this might be the only time I offer this. Um, the only time and last time, who knows, maybe I'll continue offering it. But right now I'm interested in doing some consulting and if you would like to set up an advertorial for your business and instead of, you know, I obviously, I just shared with you some freaking awesome information. You know, this is stuff that you're not gonna get at any university. I mean, I, if you just take this information in this one video alone and run with it, you'll be better than 85% of the other marketers out there. And if you're not a marketer, and let's say you're just doing things for your own business using advertorial, trust me, you'll, you'll dominate your competition because very few people are doing this. So uh, that being said, you know, very few people have this expertise. So you can leapfrog over my years of experience doing this, um, doing this successfully with a proven track record, and just have me do it. I'm expensive. Obviously, you know, I, I make good money right now, and I don't want to take on extra work if there's not some type of you know good incentive for me so this isn't you know a free a freebie here that's why i get that's why i made this video so you can you know I, I gave as much information as i thought i can get for free on one you know video um but if you want to get in depth you want me to help you out uh, i can totally help you out help you grow your business i've built my business into a seven figure business um i can do the same for yours um i've helped other businesses uh build seven figure businesses as well Look me up on LinkedIn. I have tons of people, testimonials. Uh, you can go on Facebook groups and Internet Marketing Super Friends or a bunch of other groups. And I answer a lot of questions on them. I know, you know a lot of people know me and um, you know, see my posts. And like I said, have interacted with me at some level and know that you know, I'm the real deal and not just some dude behind a computer that's trying to sell some get-rich triangular financial system. You know, this is real-world business strategies. Um, my Skype is Ronnie.Sandlin. You can just uh, message me on Facebook. You're probably seeing this as an ad, because uh, I'm throwing this up on ads. So you're probably seeing this because you know, you're probably a good candidate and you're interested because you're still watching. So you can just give me a call. Uh, my phone number, here, let's just do this. I'll give you my cell phone number, 562. You have a pen and paper? Write this down, 562-326-4261. 562-326-4261. That's my direct sales. So give me a call um, if you want to uh, talk about doing a consultation. I also made this video because, to be quite honest and frank, uh, you know I, I'm making money online, and so a lot of people want uh, a piece of my head. They want a piece of my knowledge, which I don't blame them. You know, it's 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 you want to surround yourself with people that are doing something that you want to do successfully. But to be honest, it's fucking overwhelming. I get messages, fuck here, like, here, I'll just pull it. I'm getting messages for fucking days from people. Like, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And, you know, I, I, I want to say yes to everyone, but it's just fucking over, look at this. It's just fucking overwhelming, to be honest with you. And um, that's why I kind of just want to refer people to this video. Like, look, this is kind of my strategy. Um, but if you want to get in depth, if you want to, if you really want to create a powerful system that's going to generate leads, generate sales, generate revenue, generate profit, uh, please do call me up and we can talk about some of my extremely expensive pricing options. All right. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Talk to you later. Bye.